It's a very good afternoon to all our viewers and welcome to our special edition and our live coverage of the graduation ceremony of the Police Academy's new cadets that was attended by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Tuesday and in his address the President spoke about the sacrifices of the police personnel and how they are highly uh, appreciated. The President said each martyr case is a source of great pain for all uh, Egyptians and uh, during the ceremony we also saw the students showcasing their combat capabilities. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi also honored the Distinguished Police Academy cadets with second degree medals of excellence. Also in today's ceremony, the Interior Minister Mahmoud Taufi addressed the graduation ceremony of the Police Academy's new cadets. He said the police fulfill their national duty in protecting and securing the home front. He added that police are keen on implementing modern technologies in various security fields. Earlier this morning, Nile TV's correspondent Raheem Morsi filed in the following interview with one of the freshly graduated cadets at the academy. Let's take a look. We're here witnessing a new batch of cadets uh, graduating at the police academy. Uh, and uh, during uh, today's ceremony, the uh, president, President Abdel Fattah Sisi, will be in attendance. Uh, and he will, also the minister of uh, the interior is uh, going to be here as well, where he'll give a speech uh, to uh, talk about the achievements of the cadets, in addition to a ceremony including uh, some a display of the cadets' capabilities and abilities and what they've learned throughout the years. Uh, this morning, I'm joined by Grace Mackenzie of Tanzania. From Tanzania, she's a superintendent of police and also a cadet here at the police academy. Learning more about her skills, uh, good, good morning to you, Grace. Um, can you tell us a bit about uh, your uh, experience here at the police academy? Thank you. My name is Grace Mackenzie from Tanzania, uh, super assistant superintendent of police by length. Uh, it's my pleasure to be among of the students in this police academy, uh, taking uh, police leadership and management training course. The training is excellent and is going to, the training is excellent and is going to benefit my country in terms of security. I would like to thank you, the Ministry of Interior and the Police Academy for organizing this training course which is going to add value to my countries of in Tanzania police force. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to receive the medal of the second degree of Mr. President. This is a big day to me. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, and on behalf of Tanzania police force and all Tanzania, I'm going to receive this medal with high respect and this recognition is going to improve the performance of Tanzania police force in the protection of civilian and the properties. Thank you. Um, can you tell us a bit about your training here? What's the, is there a difference between like the practical or theoretical aspects when it comes to the police academy? Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I, I got learned uh, a lot of skills and expel, ex, uh, uh, experience which I am going to share with my colleague in Tanzania Police Force to improve uh, the Tanzania Police Force in the protection of civilian and the properties. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Too. Also earlier in the morning, uh, Reha Morsi, Nal TV's correspondent, filed in this interview with a Russian police officer. Let's take a look. I'm joined uh, by our uh, Russian friend here, who's Vasily Tucci, who's going to tell us a bit about his experience here. Um, good afternoon to you, sir. Could you f introduce yourself and give us your title? Здравствуйте, меня зовут Василий Тавчи, офицер службы безопасности Республики Молдова, майор. Right, Shurta, Vasily Tauchi, Mindaulit Moldova, Audu Firkit Herasat Shaksiat, what I mean in Munshaet El Hamma, by Academy to Shurt. This he was saying that he is uh, Vasily Tucci. Uh, he is uh, one of the cadets here. He is actually a police officer and he uh, came here to experience Egypt. Um, 
um, can you tell us a bit about uh, the experience of joining the police academy in Egypt? Uh, what was it like for you? Да, мы находимся здесь уже месяц. Наши коллеги из Египта научили нас по сфере службы безопасности, как работать с персоном, как бороться с терроризмом. Уже много стреляли, научили их технику. زبلائنا هنا المدربين المصريين قاموا بتدريبنا على أساليب حراسة الشخصيات الهامة وطرق تأمين المنشآت وتم بالفعل بكفاءة عالية تدريبنا على تلك المهارات. Yes, uh, that was uh, what he had said right now is that uh, they uh, had uh, excellent experience when it comes to uh, the police academy and the ability uh, to learn and experience different things when it comes to policing. Uh, he thought the experience was excellent here. We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by Now TV's correspondent, Rehem Mursi, who is attending the graduation ceremony this morning. Rehem, a very good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you, Andy. Thank you very much for joining us, Rehem. And what can you tell us about uh, the atmosphere that you witnessed today uh, at the graduation ceremony? Uh, quite a joyous event for the cadets and their families. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, it was. It was uh, the, the families were there and they were very happy and excited, uh, had banners, you know, the Egyptian flag and all of that. And the cadets themselves were very, very excited to graduate from the academy and serve the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and as you saw, obviously, that uh, they had a very strong display when it comes to uh, um, combat capabilities and uh, counter-terrorism and counter-crime measures as well. Uh, and uh, we saw how well the cadets fared when it came uh, to uh, high-pressure events such as, you know, the uh, jumping over major hurdles and so forth. Mm -hmm. Indeed, we saw the graduates performing their military uh, shows and also uh, we've seen their skills, as you said, and capabilities to carry out such tasks uh, which are entrusted uh, with various police installations. Could you tell me, uh, Rehem, about the importance and, uh, of such a ceremony, especially for the cadets, uh, creating in them a sense of pride uh, as well as uh, in the uh, president's uh, speech, he spoke about uh, the importance of the police academy and uh, each martyr, of course, which is a great source uh, of pain for many Egyptians, but also a great source of pride. Yes, as you said, the president had highlighted the fact that there are many police martyrs that gave up their lives uh, for the sake of the nation in many different forms. And, and the president was very keen to uh, invite the families of these martyrs to make sure that they're there to be celebrated and tell them that the nation truly thanks them for the, the work that they've done to keep the nation safe. And it was also a message to the cadets that if this is your pride, uh, that uh, you are the shield of the nation. And the president was very uh, keen on you know, showing that the police are an important part of protecting the nation. And as you saw, obviously, the cadets themselves are very proud of their work and very proud of how... Uh, much they've done and achieved and are hoping to serve the nation. Absolutely. Right. Uh, yes, and, and there's also, I, I mean, I'm sure you've had earlier uh, seen interviews with uh, um, foreign cadets as well. They, they're not just Egyptians that are part of the police academy. There's exchange between various police academies around the world, specifically in Africa. And uh, they have also have associations with Eastern European countries as well where they exchange expertise and they learn training techniques from the Egyptian side, which is also a source of pride for the Egyptian Police Academy. Right. Absolutely. Now, TV's correspondent, Raham Morsi, thank you very much for your time and for the updates. Ladies and gentlemen, do stay tuned. We'll be back after the short break to continue our coverage and our special edition for the afternoon. Do stay tuned. <laughs>